briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In Baltimore in 2008, a dispute erupted over a large tract of land. Nestled within 53 acres, Loyola College secured a special exception to build a retreat center, a development that eventually caused uproar amongst a group of local citizens. The Baltimore County Zoning Commissioner, despite the public concern, granted approval for the project, a decision that was subsequently appealed by the displeased citizens to the Baltimore County Board of Appeals. The Board of Appeals shared the former sentiment and allowed the special exception, putting the citizens on their back foot. Unfazed by the retaliation, the concerned citizens launched an appeal, stating that Loyola College had not proven that there weren't other, less impactful areas for the proposed development. With the pressure mounting, the case soon caught the attention of the Court of Appeals of Maryland. Stepping into the fray, the court threw its weight behind the board's decision to grant Loyola the right to build their retreat center, not finding merit in the citizens' argument for considering alternative locations. The court clarified the standard in Maryland for determining special exceptions. Affirming this contentious point, the court referred to the Schultz Standard, a well-established regulatory mechanism which prescribes an in-depth analysis of each case while discouraging multi-site comparisons. It ruled that without verifiable evidence of harm, rejecting such applications would be legally classified as arbitrary and illegal. With this decision, the verdict became a crucial landmark that not only granted Loyola College its desired special exception, but also reshaped how future special applications would be viewed. The ruling stood as a guiding beacon in the application process, reminding applicants that their burden of proving a proposed land use was in harmony with local zoning regulations and would not jeopardize the neighborhood's welfare. Likewise, the board must determine if the proposed use respects the general purpose and character of the zoned area. The implications of People's Council v. Loyola College would echo throughout Maryland, setting the stage for numerous land use debates and associated proceedings for years to come. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.